All right, everybody. Uh, it's been several weeks now since I put that dust uh, deputy back together or put it together on that bucket. And I uh, attempted to make a pipe and all this. So this is a big fail back here. I'll show you what I had. So you see, I, I don't know why I extended this pipe. I really shouldn't even put this extension on here. I should have just piped it out. But the biggest problem is using plastic. Now what I did is I took one of these and I put it on the inside. But there's no way really to get a hold of that nut. And so I tried to silicone it and it would probably work. I just don't like this big loop. And this thing is just really, I don't know. It, it'll probably work. I don't like this type of valve. It's kind of, kind of hard to, I ain't too bad, but it is kind of hard. But what I've got now is I went with brass. So I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna try to unscrew it, but I'm gonna take all this out. So, and I'm gonna go straight from here into a fitting, into a, a ball valve, quarter turn ball valve, and into this. Now this side may be so thin, I may have to reinforce it. I don't know yet. So I'll show you what parts I'm gonna be replacing it with. So, uh, basically, I'm gonna go with brass, uh, inch and a half ball valve. And I got a couple of nuts inch and a half nuts and this two inch part here so I want this side of screw the ball valve and I'll put the nuts on this side and put it into the side here. And then I got an adapter basically that goes from an inch and a half to a two inch hose adapter so first I gotta get this off and I'll bring it back and we'll take a better look at it Okay, so I got everything together and I barely had enough threads to do the nuts. It's just really barely caught in here. Maybe a couple of threads is all it's got, but there's the adapter for the two inch hose. So we'll see how this fits. This thing don't fit very tight on that. I'm, I'm gonna I gotta get some ring over here. I got too much to So. I'm gonna loosen this up some. A lot of these hose clamps I got from Amazon. They got little thumb screws on me. Works pretty good. I'll adjust it out, but it tightens up. Not a lot much being too much. So pretty far out. Let's tighten this up a little bit more. That looks a lot better. So I'll, I'll hook my vacuum up to this, and it will pull the vacuum. Now I've got I've left the filter in, so it won't over vacuum really it won't pull too much vacuum so much vacuum in here it, you know implodes it it's always going to have some air coming through now i can adjust how much vacuum it actually pulls with this now if if it don't pull enough vacuum with this filter i'm going to take that little flap and put it on that hole there just a little rubber flap or something maybe and then we'll be able to adjust it from there I also got some uh, seal to go around this door frame here. So this is just the uh, this is the window seal. It's pretty thin stuff. Rubber foam. I think it's uh, five sixteenths thick. So I'm gonna put that around here. I get this mess cleaned off. I'm still waiting on uh, a filter for my vacuum cleaner, and I still got to run power over here uh got my air piped up and it's ready a little flex hose on my block got the regulator cut all the way off because there's no shut off to this other than 
that quick connect down here on the hose so I can adjust my regulator right here and uh, we'll get about I don't know, 60 pounds of air in here and if that ain't enough I can pop pick it up some more plus it you know it's got a filter on it so hopefully we won't get too much moisture in it and plus I can blow the block down right here just open this up blow any moisture out of this circuit now I gotta run power I think I got a junction box right up here and it runs down to this light and I'm thinking I'm just gonna come off this light and I just bring a, an outlet down probably somewhere right in here and uh, my vacuum cleaner won't be no problem it's got a long hose but this light this light it probably will work yeah it'll work it'll fit over there and I've also got a new light to go in here but I haven't figured out how I'm gonna work it so I think these just unclamp and that housing will come out of there uh, the lights I got I'll show you that I ain't figured out how I'm gonna wire it yet but they are just little LEDs I can figure out what I did with them here they are so these are just little daytime running lights uh, 12 volt LED lights and I just gotta figure out how to wire them in I believe that is a 12 volt uh, 12 volt system 12 volt transformer So, so let's see, output's 12 volt DC. So those will work fine in here if I can get them to stick. That's gonna be the question, and how I'm gonna wire them up. Ooh, nice little spider up in here. Spiders everywhere. All right, well, stay tuned for part two. We'll come back and we'll get the power and all wired up and try this thing out. I got some stuff I need to blast so thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe and